Okay, uh, those of you that are old enough remember long ago there was a Why Johnny Can't Read. We apparently haven't solved that one yet, but we're hoping to be able to solve Why He Can't Factor. Uh, most of my slides that you'll see are things that I've just stolen off of the World Wide Web that people just like you and I have placed there since we all know kids will not be able to factor unless we use one of these marvelous methods of factoring. So first is, pro and probably one of the most common, is factoring by grouping or splitting the middle term. Um, this was the examples and the directions that were given. I'm not exactly sure how anyone would just know for 13 to use the 8 and the 5, but apparently, um, in this case, it, magic would happen and you would know that. Um, so some people decide, well, let's use a crisscross method. That'll help. A uh, little way to organize. We'll throw some stuff in. The kids are looking at it saying, I got no idea. I see A and C. What's M and N? I don't know what M and N are. Could you tell me what M and N are? So now we have, now here, work these on your own. Well, work them on my own, I don't even know what was going on in the, in the slide before that you just showed me. It was kind of fantastic when I'm looking at some of these things. Evidently, they just think the normal way isn't good enough, must be too boring. Let's liven it up a little bit. And in an effort to liven it up, no one can follow what you're trying to do. At the end, the kids can perform factoring. But math is not a performance course. Okay, the last time I checked, this is one of the first situations I've ever been in when anyone asked me to perform math. Okay, usually they expect, oh this was our all-time favorite, your mama table. Okay, I watched it, the slide isn't even correct. Okay, and this Mathematically, I don't know how many of you either use or know what slide and divide is. If you do, you're just going to have to explain it to me because I don't get it. I don't understand the math behind it. I could perform it. it that part makes sense. I just don't know why you think it's mathematically valid. That's what worries me. We are teaching kids. This was one of the best things. Let's actually at least practice multiplying to give you ne negative 90 and adding to give you 1. Okay, well that kind of made sense. There was some use in doing this, so then here, let's practice it some more. So I, I actually thought this was one of the better things I had seen. At least we had a little trial and error stuff going on here. If you get my bias, I'm a big trial and error person. If you missed the slide that had all the things listed, you probably missed the last one that actually had the word intelligent before the technique. Okay? Intel I'm a big believer in let's expect kids to learn how to factor. Let's expect, let's hold the bar so that we expect them to actually understand what they're doing when they factor instead of performing it. Okay, now algebra tiles are a good explanation, they're a good introduction, okay, I have no problem with it. Probably if you're going to do this, it would be good somewhere. I'm, I was looking at these things and never anywhere in this whole algebra tiles thing did the person ever say our goal was to create a rectangle. I added that because I thought it was important. Um, so that would be a good thing if, if you're going to send these things home for kids to watch or, you know, I was absent, so I'm going to watch the thing that my teacher posted. Okay, good. Then let's tell them that it's supposed to be a rectangle and how that's going to help them and why is it supposed to be a rectangle. That would probably help as well. So as we're going through a lot of these things, you know, here's my, my bias. Do I really need to show you? how to use trial and error? I hope not, okay? And it, this is the best application of trial and error there is, so 
Which one is best? Well, of course, whichever one you use is the best one. There's 27 people in my department, and they all think their way is best. They all know my way is really best, but... <laughs> let's just fix Johnny, and let's care whether he knows what he's doing. Let's stop just expecting him to perform the things we're trying to do in the classroom. Let's make sure he really understands what he's doing.